Hello, hello. So I use this uh, little software called Voice Meter Banana on my Windows installation. And I think this is great for when you are streaming. And I will do a little bit um, of a uh, tutor tutorial of this video later on, but that will be the next video because this time around I'm actually going to talk about the equalizer. So uh, over here I got set up three inputs, A1 to A3. So the first one is the my digital output and that goes to my speaker system, my uh, Logitech system. Then we have this A2 is the built-in analog speakers on my motherboard or the analog output on the motherboard. And A3 is the analog output of my secondary sound card, which is the Creative Audigy. And it goes to a uh, also a, an external box and I have my headphones connected to this external box because that headphone amp is a lot better than the built-in on the motherboard. So yeah, A3, so basically A1 is my speakers and A3 <coughs> are my headphones. So I relate to that when I speak about these ports. So that's the speakers and the headphones. So here you can see also in the master section, you have this uh, also I also renamed them RTD out, which means for Realtek Digital Out. So Realtek is the built-in on the motherboard. Then we got Realtek, uh, yeah, Hörlura, that's Swedish word, it's for headphones. Then we got CL headphones, which create your lab headphones. <coughs> so yeah, that's the master volume of my headphones. Uh, so I got to bump down the volume a little bit and also the equalizer. Uh, when I listen to music in the headphones, uh, I need to have an equalizer actually. Uh, when I stream, I don't need the equalizer because I want a natural sound out to the stream. I don't want an equalized sound to the stream. I want the viewer itself to do all the equalizing. But what I hear in my headphones, I want it <coughs> equalized. So you can uh, turn on and off by left clicking on this button. <coughs> so it's on right now. And if you want to edit the settings, you right click on it. And you get this thing over here. So yeah, there's a lot of settings uh, up here. You have this, um, it says Hertz. So this is, uh, no, not Hertz, like punching someone hurt. Frequency, this is the frequency settings. It sets uh, to 30, uh, 100, 400, 2000, 8000, 12000. Uh, you can change these frequencies either by using the mouse, holding down the left mouse, mouse button and drag up and down. But if you want to be a little bit more specific uh, with the frequencies, you can right click on here. You get this box and you can type a number and then press enter. So that's how that works. And down here, second row is the uh, the volume of the frequency, uh, how much it will actually bump up that volume on that frequency. And the, this software will actually make a curve of this. And uh, yeah, this was it to five, I think it was and it will uh, sort of affect the other frequencies nearby as well. And the range of that is adjusted by this slider. You can see it's very getting more more narrow the more you bump it up. But I always set it to one because I want kind of a soft curve like this. And this is my settings for my headphone. You, you might, it might vary. So you basically do that for every single one. You can also change the other frequency. This is 100 Hertz. So it's kind of a bass sound. 
or base frequency 400 that's now we're talking mid-range frequency like when you speak when men speak I think I think men speak about is about 500 I think and then we're starting to get the, you know, the, the treble areas you can adjust that and also the volume on each so yeah that's how the EQ works you can also you can have different uh, e equalizer settings for each of the outputs so each output can have different uh, EQ settings so uh, my EQ settings for example for my speakers are completely different from uh, my headphones so yeah you can see the uh, speakers, uh, th there's a lot of bass coming out of my sound system, so I actually bumped that down. But uh, it's the opposite with my headphones, they need to bump up the bass instead. So, uh, yeah, so we can have different settings. So I have one setting for the speakers and one for the headphones. So, yeah, that's how the equalizer works. So yeah, see you later.